Okay, it's Venice and Sharks. It's officially lunchtime. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. All right, guys. Ace of Vegas back again. Um, so it looks like we're officially at the Aria Buffet. Just waiting on our waitress. So I did the two uh, buffet passes. Uh, yep, yeah, so it was a hell of a wait out there. I think it was something like half an hour, maybe 45 minutes waiting to get in here. So just ordered drinks. I also got the bottomless beverage pass because here's, here's what happened. Uh, so I got the My Vegas 2 uh, Buffet Comp reward here and uh, I didn't realize you actually had to have two people on site. So what they ended up doing is they gave me the free buffet and they also gave me the uh, unlimited beverages for free too. So I got uh, one of these bad boys over here so I can drink for free for the next two hours. So that'll be pretty dope. Looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, as soon as I get, uh, get my cranberry, I'll get started. Well, I definitely got my money's worth out of the drinks here. You get two of them, and you've already paid for it. I'm starving. So we're going to start with a bite. So walking about, the dining area is actually very nice, and I can't wait to see how we're doing with the food. So I think we'll start backwards and work our way in. Uh, it's still kind of cafeteria style. Uh, I'm not sure how much I like that. A little bit better. It's better lit than um, MGM Grand or uh, Mandalay Bay. Well, not Mandalay Bay, but it's better lit than a lot of other places. So, looking forward to this. Also, neat little thing about this buffet, we have restrooms in the back over here, so you don't actually have to leave. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I might get some sweets here. Uh, we got popcorn and uh, popcorn, caramel corn, ooh, bananas, and ooh, gotta have the Cinnabons, some sticky Cinnabons, and then the, uh, the apples over here too, so definitely gotta make sure we get those, All right, awesome, so do that, and they have a lot of other pastries up here, like we have little mini donuts, lots of pastries, so we'll go ahead and check those out. And let me see what other stuff they have hanging around over here. Another little desserts. Cannolis and mini pies and things like that, so you can go nuts. Also, looks like they have a full Asian station over here. So they got, uh, it's, it's brunch time right now, so we got egg drop soup and all that good stuff too. Veggie chow mein, shrimp, shrimp fried rice. And uh, ooh, we got pho and ramen. That's actually pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to get myself a pho. I'm definitely doing that. So I'll come back from that. Uh, next we have the omelet station. So the omelets are made to order. I think that's pretty standard. And then you got the good stuff, more Italian stuff, pasta primavera, and things like that. And then the kind of wine tasting station over here. You have the uh, cheeses and all that. And we got ooh, large meatballs over here. I gotta find a way to snatch up one of those. And of course the pizza stations. I'm learning slowly about uh, pizza not to do that at buffets because it's just not that great. Then we have more of a salad bar. A little bit of a Mexican station over here. You got the wasabi rice and the chicken curry. Actually, this isn't Mexican at all. This looks more Indian. All right. That's still pretty cool. And then definitely more Latin American station over here. This is where we get the good Mexican food at. So don't forget about that. And of course, we have the famous carvery. Looking forward to the carvery here. And it's like, oh, all right. So I got some gravy. Oh wow, this is a huge carvery. And you guys got all the good stuff over here. I'm gonna come back and see you inside. Man, steak, brisket. All right, this is where I'm gonna be. All right. <laughs> and of course, they have all the standard breakfast stuff too. And then they have a couple islands in the center over here, which I find fascinating. So they have kind of like fresh fruits and veggies over here. I see my cranberry juice is back already. But fresh fruits and veggies, salad bar over here, salad station, and I will be participating in definitely. So be around there. It looks like they've even got build your own Caesars. You can add shrimp to it and all that. Uh, they've got a sushi station, which is really great. I like the idea of having a sushi station, so I'll have some fun sushi too. Nice. And then they have some more standard breakfast stuff and soups and porridge and 
Ooh, they got some fresh pineapple. Very nice. Very nice. Look forward to this. Yay, okay. And then we have some more gourmet made to order things over here. So all in little pots over here. So they got Texas shrimp and grits. Uh, so that's always a good place to start. Um, then we have a seafood station over here. We've got Muscles Diablo, Spanish seafood Barela. And then you can have, uh, ooh, they do custom poke bowls over here. I'll have to hit that up. And ooh, shrimp. Pardon me? Lots and lots of shrimp and mussels over here. Camarones, as they say. I uh, really want that fa. Pardon me? Excuse me? Yeah, this is going to be great. Okay, and a made to order oyster bar. Okay. This actually looks really good. Okay, well, let me go ahead and uh, put my things down over here and then uh, have a drink, and then we'll actually head over to the bar too to get started. Ooh, all right. Time to use this. And what do we got at the bar here? What do you order? And this is the whole bar. Howdy, boss. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Hey, can I get one of them uh, rum fruit punches? All right, double fruit punch. Here you go, sir. That's for you. Thank you. All right, we're going to double fist these. These look great. Brilliant. Thank you, sir. Oh, man, these things are potent. This was not an intelligent idea, but it's actually really, really uh, kind of nice here. So it's like uh, rum, orange juice, lemon juice, I think pineapple, the strong case of pineapple in there, a bit of pomegranate, uh, some bitters, and orange blossom water to give it that kind of fizzy sort of taste here. This is uh, what gets you in trouble and makes you spend a lot of money in Vegas, so be real careful about that, guys. All right, guys, well, I'm on my third or fourth plate over here. If that's any indication, um, I could legitimately just uh, snack on shrimp all day, and I think I'm really going to do that. <laughs> I just love the shrimp here. I always made sure of that. I'd probably say, uh, aside from the shrimp, my favorite dish is definitely the brisket. And, um, yeah, these things. These things are pretty great, too, whatever those are. Um, so those are probably my favorite dishes. My least favorite dish was, unfortunately, the pho. Because I really do love pho. If you ask any of my guys at work, they'll tell you, yo, this is all about pho. But it was very disappointing. I, I wonder if I got the wrong pho, or if I put the wrong broth in there, because it just didn't taste very good. It wasn't very flavorful at all. It was really disappointing because pho is such an excellent dish, and Vietnamese food just as a whole, I think it's delicious. So that's really disappointing. Uh, the Indian food was actually really good. The tandoori chicken, they had tandoori chicken over here. That was pretty great. Also noticed that they had um, grilled veggies which is really great if you have a vegetarian companion, like I do. Uh, you know, my lady, she's vegetarian, so that's actually really cool. Uh, and, but they just have a lot of, they have a lot of options here without using up a lot of real estate. And, you know, overall, I think this is uh, out of all the MGM buffets. I'd say that Aria is hands down the strongest out of all of them. No questions asked. Strongest MGM buffet. Definitely Aria. If you guys are asking me, I'd say so. But if you get the option, definitely try and uh, add on the unlimited beverage pass. You buy two drinks, get paid for it. At that point, just run through them all, run through them all, enjoy yourself. Get like three or four drinks. You got two hours here, two drinks an hour. It sounds pretty reasonable. So on that bombshell, I'm actually going to go ahead and get a refill myself. So until next time, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas, is signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning.